let's help you pick. Morgana's LeBlanc's great counter, being that she can spell shield herself to prevent the root or mark, and also root her in the process of the combo. Sinja can interrupt her combo whenever she gets close and break the chain, and Annie if she keeps her stun up too. Yasuo with his wind wall, Ryze with his point flick root, and Fizz if she doesn't bait a Z with a Q are all good viable counters if played well. Ah, LeBlanc. LeBlanc's passive makes her spells leave a mark on the target for 4 seconds. After 1.5 seconds, LeBlanc's next spell can trigger the mark to deal more damage. LeBlanc's Q is a point flick ability that deals damage, and if it triggers her passive, then it'll bounce to other marked targets. Her W makes her hop to a location and deal damage, while also giving her 4 seconds to bounce back to the initial position. LeBlanc's E throws a skill shot chain that tethers an enemy to her, and if she remains tethered for 1.5 seconds, will root the target. Her ultimate has two sides to it. When she activates it, she gets to use an empowered version of one of her abilities, while also conjuring up a mimic to use it with her. She also has an ultimate ability that goes on cooldown independently, which allows her to conjure up a mimic anywhere on the map. To farm, she'll W on the minions, then wait to trigger her passive with a Q. Could be a good timing to engage. To attack you, she might begin with W to position herself, E to root, Q, then Alt E or Alt Q, depending on whether she needs to root or damage you more. If you dodge her chain, her combo gets pretty messed up. LeBlancs have been seen using Ignite in the past, but have been taking Teleport much more in the current meta. If you plan on playing passively, Barrier or Ghost are both very good defensive spells versus her. But if you want to crush her down, then Ignite is a choice here. Exhaust can be good to deny her her burst too, but not good enough for chasing her down. LeBlanc has a bunch of power spikes, but really all she does is shine in the early to mid game. Levels 2, 3, 6 and 11 grant her interesting boost in power, whereas items like Hextech, Gunblade and Banshees provide her with a very good killing potential and survivability. She can truly shine between the 8th and 10th Tenth minute, but falls off very hard in the team fighting phase of the game. Thank you for tuning in. Good luck in your match, and remember, Dodger chains. Don't be fooled and ignite a clone, and be patient when playing in the early mid game when she's strongest. Ultimately, just have fun doing it.